Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In today's video, I want to show you how to see or locate or identify how an invoice was paid. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see that. And so I thought, gosh, what if we just walk through it? So in my example, I have this invoice um, for job B, which is a sub customer of a job. I have an invoice over to the right. I can see that it's marked as paid, but I don't see any sort of payment for it. Let me go ahead and show you how to locate the payment. So I'm going to click on my invoice. In the upper right hand corner, I'll click on one payment. On the left hand side, I'll click on the date. I can see now that it's part of a larger payment. The larger payment is for 323, even though my invoice was $100 and some change. So this situation is when I have a customer with a sub customer and the payment goes to the parent customer. All right, let's try a different example. I want to come down here to Alvin. When I look at Alvin, I see he has an invoice and I see that it's paid. What I don't see is any payment here for a thousand dollars. And I, I really see you can probably see that it's the 450 and the 550. But imagine that your customer has a lot of information. It just goes on for, you know, many, many lines and you don't quickly see that. I want you to see how to identify the payments. So let's go ahead and go into the invoice. In the upper right hand corner, I see it says two payments made total of $1,000. If I click on the two payments, I have two separate dates. They're the same date, but they're two separate lines. Let me click on the first one. So the first one shows that I had a payment of cash. It went in the checking account. It was 550. It was for invoice 1006. My invoice was originally for $1,000. The open balance at the time of this payment was 550. The amount of the payment is 550. So I know the invoice was partially paid with this deposit or this payment. Let me go ahead and click cancel. I'm going to go back to my invoice. I'm going to go to my payments. I'm going to go to the other payment. So the other payment says the same thing. I've got my customer. I've got my invoice my open balance, uh, my original amount, my open balance on my payment. What I really want you to see with this is that there are going to be times, whether intentionally or by mistake, we have multiple payments that get applied to an invoice. And so I wanted you to know how to kind of dive into it and see it and say, oh, this $1,000 invoice, it had this payment and that payment, and maybe that's right and maybe it's not. If you were looking at this and if you said, my gosh, this 450 should not have been applied to that, no problem. You just uncheck the box and it, it unapplies it to that invoice. So there's lots and lots of things to know and do. This is part of a longer conversation where I, that I have with clients where they've made mistakes in their records and they need to have stuff fixed or cleaned or moved. And it's just too impractical to create a bunch of videos to describe all the situations where things can go wrong. But what I can do is help you identify how is this marked as paid? Like what money do I find on my bank statement that will eventually take me to this invoice getting paid? I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, or if you want to see other types of videos, please don't hesitate to let us know. You can reach us at gentlefrog.com or you can leave a message below in the comments box. Thank you so much.